This is the Galaxy Tab A7, Samsung's $229 tablet that packs quite a bit into an affordable price point. And this is the new 2020 10.2 inch iPad, Apple's $329 entry level tablet that honestly is the GOAT when it comes to cost to performance. In this video, we're gonna put them head to head and find out which one is a better value. So if you're interested in the specs of each of these tablets, here you go. Feel free to pause the video to read them for yourself. Instead of having a spec war, I'm going to talk about everyday performance and experience because I think that's what makes something great. Right off the bat, the iPad looks really dated. Since I'm coming from an iPad Pro, it's like going back in time to 2010. But there are some nice things here, like the addition of the smart connector on the side, Touch ID, a large 10.2 inch display, and a pair of stereo speakers that sound pretty good. In comparison, the Tab A7 looks more modern, but it suffers from the Benjamin Button disease since the outside looks younger or newer while the inside seems much older. We'll talk about that later. We have slimmer bezels versus the iPad in a slightly larger 10.4 inch display. Plus there's the 15 by nine aspect ratio the A7 uses versus the four by three aspect ratio of the iPad. Let me know which aspect ratio you prefer down below, 15 by nine or four by three. Based off of my experience, 4x3 is better for productivity, web browsing, and maybe some gaming. Meanwhile, the 15 by nine aspect ratio on the A7 is better for content consumption, reading when in portraits, and gaming. Even though the Galaxy Tab A7 doesn't have a connector like the smart connector found on the iPad, it's still compatible with Samsung's book cover. There's also a headphone jack on the A7, which could be a big deal to some people. The Tab A7 features quad speakers that are unfortunately not tuned by AKG, but they do support Dolby Atmos. Here's an example of how they sound next to the 2020 iPad, and then bringing in the Tab S7 Plus, which are tuned by AKG. The Galaxy Tab A7 doesn't have a fingerprint scanner like the iPad. Instead, you can set up facial recognition, which may or may not be secure enough for you since it's not using any special scanners. It's simply using the front facing camera, which really isn't all that great to begin with. If portability is important to you, the Tab A7 is smaller in nearly every way, but to be truthful, both are compact enough to toss in a bag without any worries. Weight wise, there's about a difference of 13 to 14 grams, so yeah, really similar in that area as well. That said, the A7 looks better all around. The metal build, uh, slimmer bezels, and rectangular profile just makes for a more modern and almost simplistic design in my opinion. The displays on each device are fine and will be perfectly acceptable for content consumption, reading, gaming, etc. However, both are far from the best tablet displays out there. I only say this so you don't have huge expectations going in when purchasing either one of these tablets. Both are capped at 60 Hertz, which is perfectly fine, but something that should be known going in. Thanks to iOS and hardware optimization, the transitions on the iPad are smoother, making the display feel snappier than what it is. The A7 has a bit more vibrancy while also getting brighter, Thanks to the extra brightness, it also has a little bit more dynamic range in the shadows versus the iPad. The best way to see this is if you get a chance to watch Our Planet on both tablets side by side. You'll notice more information in the darkest areas on the A7. Both tablets have pretty good viewing angles while watching content. Color shift is present on both, but I don't think it's a deal breaker. One thing I noticed immediately is the difference in color reproduction. The iPad looks like it has a teal and orange LUT applied while watching certain things. And other times the A7 appeared to be much bluer than it should have been. I'm not 100% sure on which has the most accurate panel, but if I had to guess, I would probably go with the A7 here. Well, the iPad beats out the A7 by a landslide is performance and software support. 
The A12 simply trumps the Snapdragon 662 in nearly every way. In fact, just off a weak use, I've already noticed lag in animations and stutters here and there on the A7. This could be a result of the processor or the limited three gigabytes of RAM since Android tends to consume more system resources versus iOS and iPadOS. To go along with the better performance, Apple tends to support their devices for much longer. In fact, there is still no confirmation on whether or not the Galaxy Tab A7 will receive three years of updates. The Galaxy Tab A7 has a lot of nice things going for it. Uh, for example, the A7 has a micro SD card slot which can be expanded up to one terabyte, so you're able to increase your own internal storage. If you're a gamer, you'll love the fact that streaming services such as Xbox Game Pass, Steam, and others are fully supported out of the box with the Tab A7. Of course, this really isn't the case on the iPad given the App Store's current limitations. One thing that's missing from the Tab A7 is S Pen support. And I really feel like Samsung dropped the ball here since the iPad has Apple Pencil support. Given that both of these tablets are geared towards kids, students, and as a budget source for entertainment, it just makes sense. The iPad has much better battery life. You can expect it to last around two or three hours longer than the A7. Standby is an even bigger difference since the iPad can go for ever on a single charge. That said, the Tab A7 does support 15 watt fast charging, but you'll need to buy the charger separately. The iPad supports fast charging as well using Apple's 30 watt USB-C charging brick, which also needs to be purchased separately. Both of these devices are a great choice for any cost conscious consumer looking to pick up a tablet for school or for their kid. Both offer parental controls for blocking out adult content and keeping threats away from your children. Personally, I think the iPad is a better tablet overall. I mean, sure, it is $100 more than the Tab A7, but it's going to last you two to three years easily with minor performance issues. To me, that's better than a tablet that will start showing its age within the first year. However, if you need an Android tablet or you're on a limited budget, the Tab A7 is a great pickup and one that I think you should consider. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, consider dropping me a like and subscribing for more videos just like this. Don't forget to hit me up on Instagram or Twitter if you're more comfortable over there. And I'll see you gorgeous people in the next video.